you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're going to do plumbing on the trailer we are because we got to get this done because, uh, you know, there's no rush to go anywhere. So why wouldn't we need to get it done? But just so you know, remember boys, girls, people, don't take a leave or ibuprofen. Only take Tylenol if you got symptoms, okay? Because I guess the ibuprofen and the uh, Aleve or, is it Aleve or Advil? Advil. Ibuprofen and Advil actually fuel the 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 Corollas. What's it called? The Corollas? Coronas, yes. So just remember, health tip of the day from dirty old Bilsif. But first thing we gotta do is, I've already cut this tube off here. So I gotta take off the edge because I couldn't cut it off too far. And I think I might've broke something else by the feels of it. Oh no, hopefully I didn't break the shitter tank. That would suck. No, shitter tank looks good, boys. So I just gotta trim back some of this excess doodad and whatnot, hey. Freaking right, I do. You see? Probably not. And then I gotta trim off. Oh shit, I gotta turn off way back here, boys. Oh, dick. Oh well, hey, see, it is what it is. I'm the one that busted it. So can't blame anybody but myself. I can't. So we gotta cut this off. Careful. Oh, the whole tank moves. Decent. Oh, yeah, we did. There we go. There it is, boys. We don't need that piece anymore. So. Oh, yeah, we did. Too fat, boys. I broke the fucking roller. Oh, did I ever? What's really going on? Oh. All right, so we're done this piece. We've got it cut off. We got the old stuff out. So what we're going to need is we're going to need one of these, one of these, a few pieces of this, and one of these, boys. And that will fix this side. And then we got to start on that side, we do. So first thing you want to do is you want to scuff the hell out of this. The best stuff for this is probably sandpaper, but I don't have any. Why would I? There we go. Okay. So I'll scuff the inside of this, like so. I'll open this up. Put a little dab here. And a little dab here. We'll give it a second. No slide around, boys. There we go. That piece is on. So now what we gotta do is cut a piece for that. Where if I can get away with putting that on there, boys? Then I don't have to use one of these. Yeah, we can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit so I don't have to use one of these. And that way I have enough for that side. Because I need two of them for over there, too. And there they are. Oh, we're mint. Jim. This is gonna take no time at all to do, boys. So now what I need to do is I need to not put that on yet, but I need to cut a piece so this lines up to that, which is right about friggin' there. It's perfect right there. I have to get under the trailer to do this next job, just so I can make sure I line this up right, boys. And I gotta see how it goes together so I don't get cocked over. All right, so I can get it on, no problem like that. Ooh, eh? Ooh. What a piece of shit this thing is. Oh yeah, day six, boys. Well, we're all done, we are. And check that out, Jim. Hey, eh? He's brand new again. Decent. And decent. But uh, right now, I'm just filling up the bathtub, boys, so I can check and make sure the plumbing ain't leaking. And right now, pretty god darn good it is. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. If you like fixing the plumbing on the trailer with dirty old Belsif, hey, why wouldn't you? But see, that's what I do in a time of crisis. Manual labor and not a drip. Hey, look at that. Not a drip, boys. Friggin' right, there's not a drip. So, I'll fill this up a little bit and then we're gonna flush it right now. We are. So, have an eye, Captain. Hopefully, there's nothing in here that shouldn't be in here, boys. Decent. A little bit of antifreeze, but she's working, Captain. Mint. So, we'll shut that off and we'll check the front. Make sure the front ain't leaking. We can't check the pooper until we go camping. So we'll take this out. Oh, and just so you know, boys, don't get rammy when pulling your trailer out of storage. My camera on the truck stopped working, so I was frustrated about that, so I couldn't line the ball up where the crap took me about three shots. I forgot to take the wheel chalk out. So I just dickered that thing right over. Thank God I didn't pop a tire, because them tires aren't cheap, boys. Them Carlisle tires aren't cheap. They aren't. Frig no. All right, so he's filled up the sink, so let's check the front part of her. Make sure it's not leaking. Jump. She looks mint. Friggin' right it does, so let's pull that valve. Decent. Well, there we go, plumbing all fixed, and that took less than a friggin' hour it did to fix the plumbing on the old trailer Ruski. Pretty happy about that. 
one less stress ball off. But I think I'm gonna pull the trailer back into the backyard, but I'm gonna drive it in this time so I can actually set it up and we can go camping together in the backyard. Because I don't think we're gonna be going camping for a while here. And uh, I don't want to block the driveway in. I'd rather just cock over my lawn. So I think I'm going to drive the trailer into the backyard. That way the awning will open this way and I'll be able to set it up and clean it up and make feel like home back there in case you want to have a camp out, out back because being off, laid off like this for number six days, boys, you got to get away from the old lady somehow. So I might camp out in the trailer. I just got propane, propane, propane yesterday. So we're freaking good to go. So let's get this thing in the backyard, get it set up, get it cleaned up, or maybe just get it set up, not cleaned up yet, but get it set up. I got to figure out something to do with the shocks because I can't lift the bed now that I put the big bed in there. So I gotta figure something out there because I just can't lift it up, boys. I need some shocks on it or something. Kinda never thought about that. I can't get the barbecue out for frig's sakes. And if you don't remember what I mean, put a mattress in there from in the house. So she's heavy, boys. I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. I have to drag her back out again. Great. Hey, eh? why wouldn't I? But let's get this thing back in the backyard. We'll get her set up and then we'll go from there. Friggin' right we will. There we go, enough for me for today. Friggin' right, man. I'm working harder now than I was when I was working. Holy, check her out, boys. Got the gazebo cleared out, I do, hey? All nice and clean. And I got the trailer aired out and opened up. And I got to a couple of uh, security guys keeping an eye on her for you, boys, hey? Keep an eye on that trailer, why wouldn't you? Friggin' right better. Decent. There we go, Jim. I feel like I accomplished something today. Friggin' right I do. But that's where the trailer's gonna sit for a while. I was gonna leave it in the driveway, but like I said, it's in the way in the driveway, so I figured what the hell. Might as well just put her in the backyard, boys. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, take a load off. Maybe do a little bit more cleaning up around here. Not much though, eh? Not today. We got all friggin' week we do. We got all next week we do. But anyways, this is day six of the uh, temporary retirement for the dirty old Bilsif. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you're doing today, which is Saturday. Keep safe. Don't go out anywhere unless you have to. And remember boys, stay away from ibuprofen and Advil. Friggin' right, you better. That stuff just feeds the Coronas it does. Take Tylenol, boys. Girls, peoples. But anyways, have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.